the sun will start to perish in a few billion years, and this is how the planet Earth would appear. But what if we increased the intensity a bit? Let's change our yellow star to a blue one. The rainbow's hues are all present in sunlight, just like in any other visible light. However, the brightness of a star or any planet affects how we see them. The hottest stars in the cosmos have temperatures above 40,000 degrees Celsius and appear bluer, whereas the coolest stars in the universe have temperatures around 1,750 degrees Celsius and emit more red light. 6,000 degrees Celsius is the surface temperature of our sun. As a result, it emits roughly equal amounts of wavelengths in blue and red. The sun would appear whitish if it could be seen from space. Yes, wait a minute. Is the sun yellow or not? Yes, it is correct. Your perception of the sun's color is solely a result of Earth's nitrogen-rich atmosphere. Since red and yellow light have longer wavelengths, they can more easily enter your eyes. The sky is blue because blue light has a shorter wavelength and scatters more. But you'd never witness another stunning orange sunset if our sun were a blue star. Oh, and you would also instantly burn. Let's look at a few well-known, dazzling blue stars before turning our sun blue. Rigel, the brightest star in the constellation of Orion, is on the cooler end of the blue star spectrum. Its surface is around 11,000 degrees Celsius hot. Rigel emits at least 40,000 times more energy, despite being almost twice as hot as our sun. The diameter of Rigel is 79 times that of our star. If our sun were that big, Mercury would be sucked up inside, and the Earth's temperature would rise dramatically. However, why end there? The volume might be increased even further. Our sun might resemble Eta Carini if we picture it at the brighter end of the blue star spectrum. This star's surface is over six times hotter than the sun at 40,000 degrees Celsius. Eta Carini emits one million times as much energy as our sun, which is astounding. Our sun would be five million times brighter than it is right now if it were so hot. Plasma would be violently ejected and regularly sear our world and the sun would expose us to deadly UV rays. You couldn't possibly endure the heat. It would seem like walking into an even hotter oven if you were to step outside for, for a moment. All of the tissues in your body, possibly even your bones, would be quickly reduced to ashes by the blue sun. You would lose all hope of winning. I'm joking. Let's say for a moment that your body has a high level of heat tolerance. Still, there would be a tremendous quantity of UV radiation to contend with. Your skin would wrinkle, age, and develop cancer as a result, doing all kinds of damage on your body. You would also have severe visual loss. Your eyes would experience something akin to a sunburn. Your eyes would throb with excruciating pain, and the UV rays would make your eyesight hazy. Similar to snow blindness, but brought on by solar rays. The blue light would interfere with your beauty sleep in addition to causing you to lose your vision. Your melatonin levels are suppressed by blue light. Sleeping would be difficult if there was so much more blue light and so little of this hormone. High blood pressure, diabetes, and even heart failure can all be caused by lack of sleep. More than simply people would be affected by the blue light. Plants grown outside would develop smaller, thicker, and darker leaves. Blue light with a high intensity would encourage flowering in long-day plants, which typically require at least 12 hours of sunlight each day to grow. The other plants would all perish because they don't like as much sunlight. You might still have long-day garden produce like lettuce, spinach, and potatoes, though. You would face more pressing issues than what to eat in your new diet though if our sun were to grow to be as huge as Eta Carini. The solar system would be disturbed by the new, tremendously strong gravitational attraction of the sun. Yes, you would witness the Earth and all the other planets being engulfed by it. You'd be lucky to escape this enormous sun's engulfment if Earth veered off course and was propelled into space. Then, instead of being held by the gravity of a star, we would be living on a wandering planet in space, 
However, we would probably freeze to death quite shortly. The fact that all of this mayhem and destruction wouldn't persist forever would be the only advantage. Instead, it would come to an abrupt end. A celebrity with a live fast, die young mentality is Etta Karani. It has only been around for around 3 million years, but he is already running out of fuel. Within the following 100,000 years, it might go supernova. Scientists predict that our sun, which is roughly 4.5 billion years old, will continue to burn for another 7 billion years. Therefore, if we increased the sun's heat, we would hasten the demise of both our star and planet. There wouldn't be many living forms left by then. On our planet, life has existed since approximately 3.7 billion years ago. Our sun had been around for 800 million years at that moment. Back then, hundreds of millions of years before there was life anywhere nearby, the sun would have erupted as a supernova if it had been as hot and luminous as Eta Carini. With the sun glowing at its current temperature, our lives appeared to be better. We now ponder what would occur if the sun's brightness was reduced slightly. That's a tale for a different video, though.